six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Go Starlink to the Falcon Space Force at Nardo Launch. Vehicle pitching down range. We are T plus 45 oh, seconds nominal. into liftoff, and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload. In just about 15 seconds from now, we will be passing through max Q. This is the largest aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see throughout ascent. And we've got an awesome view of liftoff right now. Vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we just heard that call out for passing through max Q. Now coming up in about a minute will be a rapid succession of events. Main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, followed immediately by stage separation and SES-1, which is second engine start. Now MECO is where we shut down that main engine on the first stage booster to allow the vehicle to slow down just enough to separate from second chill. stage. If you're just now joining us, we have an awesome onboard view of our vehicle Falcon 9. And there is Miko, Miko. as you saw those engines shut down. Stage separation confirmed. And there is stage separation and second engine start. You can see that second engine on your right screen glowing bright red. Now in about 20 seconds, we will have fairing deploy. And we should be able to see this on our screen as well. And on that left screen there, you can see the grid fins. It's, it's a bit dark on the East Coast right now, so hard to see, but we did see those grid fins deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there is fairing deploy. So as Lauren mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to catch one of the fairing halves on our recovery vessel, Miss Tree, but we will not be able to show this live, so check in with our social media for updates. So far, stage two's trajectory continues to be nominal. Stage one has also drifted up to its highest altitude and is now beginning its descent. That's that image over to the left. It's dark outside. Oh, dark in space. <laughs> So the atmosphere is actually what's slowing the vehicle down, stage one, as it re it's now re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and coming down to the thicker parts. That's what slows the vehicle down. Stage one, landing burn, start up. All right. You can see that light on the left. Stage, stage one, two making is its under way. terminal guidance. Stage one, landing like right. deploy. And yes, <laughs> we have another landing. This is the 
the fourth landing of this vehicle and the 48th Falcon 9 first stage landing to date. It was awesome. <laughs> we got video the whole time. That was cool. All right, stage two stage is still two doing FTS work. Stage two is saved. Seco should be coming up any moment. Seco. And we just we may have lost video, but we've heard confirmation of Seco. Can't below us expected. And let's listen to see if we're in a good orbit. Confirms good answer. All right, and GNC has confirmed good orbital insertion. Now with that, we're about to enter a coast phase, so we're gonna take a quick break, but we'll be leaving you with this cool animation that lets you visualize where Falcon and the Starlink satellites are on orbit. We'll be back at about T plus 44 minutes for a second stage relight, followed by another coast period and then deployment of the Starlink 60 satellites.
explosive signal expect at Newfoundland. Coon Hilly Acquisition. And there was our quick SES-2 followed by SECO-2. Now we're just waiting to confirm good orbit. GNC confirms good insertion accuracy. And we just got that call out for good orbit. Tension rods released and payload deploy confirmed. All right, you just heard the call out. Let's wait till we get that video again. There we go. That's all 60 of those Starlink satellites on their merry way. It's a beautiful sight. Just to give you guys an update on the fairing, we didn't catch it this time. We got really close, but we're going to keep on trying again and give you more updates as that continues. And with that, that brings our web class to a close.